I need to get, I, guys, what's up? Welcome back into the channel for another episode, episode three of The Walking Dead season one. I am just absolutely loving this. I really can't say that enough. Probably sound like a broken record at this point, but I'm going to dive straight into it. I'm just going to recap you guys by saying in the last episode, we found out, I guess we saw the hard truth that cannibalism has struck the country, although I'm sure that was happening prior and we just don't hear about it or know about it that much. But essentially, a lot of that chapter was about starvation and what it will push people to do. And so this farm, this dairy, the dairy became more of a slaughterhouse for what was a spot for them to be consuming humans and so yeah they turned to cannibalism so we're picking up in episode three having left the farm finding some supplies on the road which happened to be very convenient um however at the end myself and Clem, we actually chose to not partake in stealing from this vehicle. And so, yes, I am sure they're going to share their food and such. But we did get a glimpse that we would kind of be entering into colder months here soon, which will definitely play a part, I think, in how extreme people get and, and start turning on each other as well as the zombies. So let's just get started. I'm so glad you guys are here. I hope y'all are enjoying this playthrough. And I will... Mm -hmm. Episode three of the long road ahead. Ah, that's right. There was stuff to do with the train. Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open. We've got wounded. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I would start by skipping through the, the previously. Monsters. Just because most Larry people probably store. know. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my cave. Oh. Down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone the out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead. Somebody help me! Come on. We know this guy's not gonna make it. Kenny, what the fuck? It sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies. It doesn't get back any here. better seeing you're it right. later. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. That's such a good setup because the dairy will no longer be supplying food. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Episode three, y'all. Yeah, I forgot that Larry did know exactly who we were, and so it wasn't such a bad idea. Not a bad idea that he got killed, <laughs> but, you know, at least now there's one less person who knows our the truth of our past. National Guard orders evacuation of city. I do find it interesting that we miss a little bit of the setup. Like, they cut off, like, a decent chunk between each episode long road ahead but we're back into i think this is the same city that we were in so we might be going Looks to like the this pharmacy is our lucky day yeah this might go smoothly mm. i don't like it either i don't like it it's Keep too quiet open, all right just trying to be optimistic let's just get inside Normally, I'm the optimistic one. Also, Kenny and I are kind of on the outs just a little bit because he's kind of pissed at me for decisions earlier with Larry, but I've already done so much for him, so I'd find it really strange if all of a sudden he just kind of turns on us. Oh, man. You made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp, considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. There's not a whole lot of people that we're fighting for supplies here. We should go. I'm gonna say we should go. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. God, I can't... I can't please anybody. Yeah, so we're going back to the prescriptions. Hopefully he's okay, just on. like last time over the rig into the pharmacy and scrape together whatever supplies are left. There's going to be a zombie at the there. top. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> I don't like it. Shit. 
You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Fair point. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have to go at it Locked a different way. The fallen concrete. There was an aircraft that flew into it. I don't. None of that was there last time. Everett's prescription. Oh, a helicopter. So much for the military. Let's see if there's an alternative way there's around. There's no safe way through that mess. Mm, there's got to be something else. Oh, oh, what was that? We can explore. Oh, we can push it. And then we can push it and get up through that way. Hmm. What was the hmm for? I just want to explore all of oh. our options. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. I find it so interesting. They have observation choices that play no impact other than adding an extra thing to, uh, to click on. Hmm. I think we need to pull it from the front. Ah, oh, flat tire. It's completely flat. Well, that's not going to be useful, but there is a winch. Okay. Looks like it still works. That we can definitely take advantage of. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You killed her dad. You slaughtered her dad. It's not good. I'm worried. She'll be fine. Optimism. If you say so, you're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. I wonder why. I think like the hard part with that is he was doing what he thought was right, but I feel like all of the choices are so extreme. And so a lot of times I want to say stuff like, well, you slaughtered her dad. And I probably need to stick with the choices that I'd actually choose. But a lot of me, and I'm sure you guys play like this too, but a lot of my choices are based on like keeping everybody at peace and at bay. And then hopefully they'll all be fine. I don't know. I just want to keep everybody my, like happy. As happy as they can be, considering. All right, so I don't think we want to climb up that yet. Mm, we're not going to be able to... Oh, the winch... Okay. The winch controls over here? It's going to make so much noise. For taking stuff out of that car last week? I wouldn't blame her. I hope not. I haven't asked. I hope not. Hoping ain't worth a damn. One minute he's trying to be optimistic, and the next he's not even wanting to be hopeful. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. Still. He is, I think that was in the preview, was that Duck starts, I'll get over it still. Still, what happened to water off a duck's back? We're dealing with a little more than water here. Oh, not the right answer. That's on me. <laughs> you are sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Where did all the zombies go? Are you okay? What the hell happened? Nice one. I'm gonna stick with trying to keep the you peace. okay? No, dick, I'm shot. Now get ah! off here. No! No! Go away! Go! Help. Oh. help me! She's been bit. There's no way she hasn't been bit. And Somebody now. help me! Oh God, oh God. What the, what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. Oh, doesn't matter, we must keep moving. It's a girl, she's going to get us killed. It's a girl we have to help. It's a girl, we have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Oh, nope, nope, she done. She done. We gotta shoot her, put her out of this misery. We don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Yeah, think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Y'all, this is what I talked about at the end. I want to do what's morally right, 
But I think I have to be in survival mode. I have to be in survival mode. Nobody will know that we left her. Good. Let's go. She'll keep me busy. I didn't do it. It's what's best. I, I have to stop doing that. I've got to start making the hard decisions, y'all. God, that's brutal. We should be good to clear this place out. But we uh, ain't got all day. There is the zombie helicopter pilot. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. The helicopter pilot. All right, take, 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 take. Collected one item, take that. Energy bar too, because we're going low on food. Supplies, take supplies. Supplies. How many items am I allowed to collect? Take supplies. I don't trust it. She's gone. There's not much time now. How do they know? Take the bullets, take bullets, swipe bullets. Under the counter. Energy bars. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Ah, uh, there's no time to look at what we're collecting. Go, 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 go. Medicine, medicine, bandages. Oh, we need to take the ammo. I think that's everything. Okay, we gotta go. That girl didn't die for nothing. Up and over. That is true. We were able to collect like 20 items. Oh, we gotta go Still up and over. Let's hustle. Kenny, don't be a dick. <laughs> Kenny! Do the right thing, Kenny. He didn't help. He didn't help. Fridge. Nice, nice, nice. Get Let's fucking get out. We need to go. The helicopter pilot. Yep. Time to shoot. Time to shoot. Time to punch. Kenny, put a bullet in his brain. Go. Go. The fuck was that? They're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? I took care of myself. What? What does he mean by that? You took care of yourself. Ah, oh, the raiders have been here, y'all. Look at all the arrows. Kenny didn't help me. Which I get, but I don't get at the same time. He started shooting only after. That is like a prime spot to be shot with an arrow. It's bananas. Oh, we got her a walkie-talkie. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Aww. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone and come and rape our women and children. Wow. I think Kenny so, just doesn't know what, what did to you not get? speak. <laughs> a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Oh, We're yeah. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We have to go eventually. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. Let's have go mutual. Problem. If we talk we about do the children. Best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. 
We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can't really Carly... remember that. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make Carly executive decisions left. for the group, though. <laughs> it could be worse. I don't worse. think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. We do a no, shit as it comes. Because Lee knows how to take care of people. We not got just plenty things. of food out of this. What about medicine? What about medicine? We got all the protection we need. I think this and would be fine. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? They won't be going back over. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? We didn't Some have to girl tell people came about screaming that. screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like oh my. Eight? She was dead anyways. What is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Alright, Carly did not like hearing that we shot, stable. didn't shoot her? It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would it you It could know? be. What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. She's going now, crazy. everybody get out. Who would be stealing? She's right, happy Kenny, she'll get over it. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. Do you think it's you the kid Ken? that we led into the camp? All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! That is true, she never thanks them for getting all the supplies for them. <laughs> Things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. Definitely. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Oh? <laughs> Alright, let's do some full exploration. That's interesting. Yeah, let's go talk to, let's go talk to Lily about the missing, but let's check on everybody, but yeah. Uh, maybe we talk to her first because she might say go, like, we might have more dialogue options with people about, like, quizzing them possibly. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? You have to chill out. I'm following up about stolen supplies. I wanted supplies. to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. What kind of things? You have a real who? What do you have to go on? For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. I need an Things itemized list. The good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. Well, wouldn't it make the most sense What's that the injured that one would be using oxy? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. 
you'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Hmm, seems like you're manufacturing this from nothing. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. I'll see Thank what you. people have to say. But they would have to be going a into mystery. her room, no? Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. Doc's addicted you need to, to oh, yeah. all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. <laughs> That's Robin. I know who it is. Fine, you're Robin. No, if you tell anyone, there'll be trouble. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, <laughs> good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. <laughs> well, at least give him something to do. And it might help with his sanity as well. I, f I feel like it's got to be somebody who isn't a part of the camp. I mean, the only person... I think the obvious sign would be Kenny because he's in pain from being shot. Although, he's a little suspicious too. And also, I think that Kenny, being a mechanic... I think he has like... Um, I think he was a mechanic or something. But I feel like he wouldn't be stupid enough to just leave equipment lying around because he probably does a lot of the fixing of the equipment. So it's got to be somebody who Sounds doesn't like think Kenny that they would notice that. that. Thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Mm. Before we talk to him, let's look around completely. I love how fast he walks. <laughs> broken glass. There's some broken glass on the ground there. Hold on. Sure enough. An X. There's something drawn there. See, it's nobody in our camp. Wait, pink chalk, isn't that Clem? Pink. Hmm. Duck. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. X it's marks the pink spot. Chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Hey. Oh. They took Clem's chalk, or maybe where did Clem get the chalk in the first place? I'm just double checking everything. It's kind of like the same thing how somebody magically strolled in and stole her hat. It's kind of suspicious. Mm, I don't want to come gun swinging yet. But... Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down to make it much? Do you have any chalk I can borrow? Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Hey, Ben, I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my, well, my thoughts, and I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. <sighs> what do you think about Lily? What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I don't think he'd I'm have the guts to steal to anything. Did you ever come down here to make much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. Oh. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. <laughs> Is. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. <laughs> ben is... If Ben makes this out alive, like, completely unharmed, I'll be shocked. He just seems like such a nice guy, which is not a bad thing. Just, a, is he going to be able to kill when the time strikes? Mm. Katya. 
Before we talk to them, let's talk to Clem, because she's the one who has the pink chalk next to her. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do you have any pink chalk? Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. What? Mm. I'm looking Isn't at it. Blue? <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I love the little I subtle sounds, what too. I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and duck, I got it. Good job. Over by the gate. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll give him a high five. Cool. Duck thinks you're incredibly awesome. <laughs> All right, let's peep real quick again. I don't really. All right, so that's how people were sneaking in and out. You didn't break the flashlight, did you? You seem to know a bit about all of this. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. That's what a good guy would say. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. <laughs> I okay, like that. I won't. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Everybody. Oh, wait. More chalk. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody was over here, too. See, yeah, but I did good, huh? Yeah, I duck. think that's marking you the path did. to get through, to be I able to steal the stuff. go out there and look around. You stay here this <sighs> time. Seriously. Okay. I feel like I should talk to these two before I go out there. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? It's a do or die situation. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys trust everyone here? You guys, here? uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. Mm. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what You just then? forget about it. Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'm not saying forget about what Kenny did to her father, but they've gotta, like, if you're gonna hold on to a grudge, especially during an apocalypse like this, I don't think you're gonna make it very far. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Kat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> oh, no. But we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye All right, let's go do some exploration. It is an easy way to get in and out, but I feel like you would have heard something so easily. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. Hmm. Drugged up on Oxy. Those bandits gave us oh. hell, but they've been quiet for days now. All right, let's go this way. Vending machine. Ah, uh, that'll do it. There. Does that go to Lily's room too? <clears throat> oh, a lunch bag. Oh, shoot. I'm triggering something. No, I wasn't done. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. 
Yeah. We need to go okay. to the other outside. We wall. line everybody up. Everybody. No. <laughs> Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? What? Yo, Gotta man, keep your out there. out here! We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! Why did this just go zero to hundred and I didn't get to talk to anybody seconds. either? What the hell are you- Stall him. What? I didn't get to talk just to Carly. I messed do whatever up. whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your lives! We didn't steal from anybody. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. You assholes better get out of here. We have more supplies. We can keep the deal going. Too late, shithead! We ain't giving second chances. What deal? It, it was a mix-up. We'll make it worth your while. I'm listening. We can split the supplies. We'll leave you everything. What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Oh, somebody was striking That's a deal so. with them then. Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. And shut up, bro. Christ! Oh, shit! Oh, my. <gasps> Carly! Oh, fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks! I fucked up. Get back there. Smoke him out. I damn it. That sucks. That sucks. I'm going to get we somebody get killed because here. I forgot to get him. Oh no shit. Get those bastards. Cover our people and get them to the RV. I do. Uh push left or push right. Yeah, stay down. Help, Jesus. Oh god. Go around shit for brains. He's back there. Oh. She's going to come back up. Nice. Now, get over here. Hurry. Come on, come Man, on, come on. Get inside. We gotta go to the other side. Come. Oh, Help. Gotcha. Hang on. All right, we gotta get this. Oh, there's zombies too. Where is he? He's hiding behind that van. Get your asses around behind. I gotta see real quick. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Should be coming up here soon. All right, we gotta go these these ones first. Oh, okay, I didn't do it fast enough. No, 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 no. Help! This one's hard. This is actually That's a hard a, sequence. Hang on. Where is he? All right, he's we got that one. That right there. Damn it! Got it. One, and then this one right here. Nice, 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 nice. There should be one more. He's gonna start running. Very nice. Gotcha. Hurry, come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Clint, get inside the RV. It's gonna be okay. Go! Oh no! No! Oh Christ! Did he take a bite out of Katya? No. Let me get in the RV. Screw her. Let her stay. No. Somebody's gonna die here. Oh my. Y'all. Crap. Ah! I think she's doing more shooting than I am. It's very sensitive. I wanna make a note that it's super sensitive. <laughs> Lily, come on. Lily, last chance, get down here. Lily, please. Please, Lily. Shit. I think if we had talked to Carly, she probably would have told us that she made a deal with the bandits. Did we just leave Lily? Yes. Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, no, shit. okay, we have Lily. Carly made a deal with the bandits, Everything's and that's why they hadn't been there for a couple days. Fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. I should have talked to her. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. 
somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. Carly, why? That's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please, we have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. Carly's I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Carly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight Lily will battles. remember that. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. I didn't know anything. <laughs> like, look, maybe we should vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just, Let's just look. let it go. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Let's just let it go. People make mistakes, and yeah, this is a fucking doozy. But it's not worth it, Lily. Then what do we not forgive? Honestly, tell me. Kenny can kill my dad. Carly can steal from us. Where's the line? Nobody was stealing anything. I don't know anything. if it's for her to draw was it. Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. Why would I... they not keep this? Shit. What's going Crap. on up there? Why would I they not something. keep the supplies in the RV? Stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now then. Get a zombie stuck in your tire. Yeah. They should have kept Safe. the supplies in the RV, because then even Everybody if they had out. to leave like they did now, they'd still at least have out. it all. Lily's gotta go. brain hasn't been smushed yet after all Kenny, that. the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just Fucking kick you out. We should hear half. what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really it was somebody else. To feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. I'm not She's doing on a witch this. hunt. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. This is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katya. We don't need all these votes. What Guys, I, I think Katya is infected. Me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Ha. Huh. The hell you will. You're making I'll it worse on food, yourself. More medicine. Anything. He's broken, Lily. I can see that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. Ah. This there is about trust, and I've shit. never trusted you. I did it. What? Yeah, it was me. That gets you to lay off the kid? I think you're capable of being a real piece of shit, but I know it wasn't you. Damn it. Not with her in your life. Or Damn. maybe that's exactly God, why. Please. Let's just get back that's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you, but you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's oh. book and try helping somebody for once. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. Kachi is definitely infected. I just want to make a point to say that. Now, what the fuck's the problem? <gasps> Drop it. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Kenny, what's happening? Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get but Carly was the best. This crazy bitch. She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. What are we gonna do with her? Leave her for the walkers. Ken, Lee! Why? Why, Lily? 
We're leaving her. Let's go. Okay. She's a murderer. That's the end of her. <gasps> Carly was my favorite one. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Crap, Lily. Clem we is not going to like us. that. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. What are you talking about? He didn't tell you. He killed someone before all of this. He was a convicted murderer. Is that true, Lee? If I had brought her, she probably wouldn't have spilled that. Yes. Fucking hell. Were you ever going to get around to telling me that? You got a little girl with you. To hell with it. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. I don't have anything left. Yeah. And I'm actually okay with that. I think I could have saved Carly. I really think that I could have saved her had I made different choices. <laughs> I hope Carly wakes back up as a zombie and devours Lily. I don't feel bad Lee? about leaving Lily word, please? at all. But I know that Clem is going to be really disappointed. Katya okay? needs you for something. Yeah, she's not happy with me. Carly was probably my favorite character. I, I seem to always, I need to not have favorite characters because I always get them killed. Is Doc feeling all right? Happened during the raid. He's going to turn. He's turn. We don't know that. Gotcha. What do we really know? None of us have been bitten. We don't know what the time frame is for a child. We know nothing. I'm going to monitor him and focus on the wound and see if his condition changes. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Maybe Gosh. you have to what die to from do? the bite. We thought you should know. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Yeah, she needs to stay away from him. You guys, this is bad news bears. Everything has gone to crap. Clem. Duck is bitten. I wonder if I had talked to Carly at the beginning. I don't feel good. What about Carly? There was no time for a burial. There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. My brother almost died once. I'm glad I have, you. glad I have you. Me too. I heard you outside my treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> Why? In case you were up to no good. Before you, there was this other guy. He was yelling and trying to get into my house. He wanted to take the TV and tried to break the glass door with a rock. Then some walkers came and scared him away. The door was open. He was dumb. <laughs> that kid is going to go insane too, by the way. Oh no. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. Holy shit! Get off of me! I've got to be asleep. <sighs> we got something up ahead. Oh, I should have talked to the kid, but I think I could either talk to Clem or the kid, or maybe if I had talked to Carly at the beginning before I found the meds, I would have been in on the secret, and then we could have kept her alive. <sighs> Now 
we got to deal with this. I hitched my wagon to Kenny's and now I've got to live with it. I guess I chose him because he had the maintenance skills and the RV and he, I think like he's still pretty level-headed. He seems like a good survivalist, but Carly's aim. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like yeah. a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. This is our new home. Although when winter strikes, I don't know if Why I'd want to be inside of a train around. car. Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That would cross my mind. I never trust anything for being abandoned. First things first, go back over here. Uh, we could maybe talk to the kid. Possibly. Yeah, I think we're... Uh, is he back here or no? Oh! Go back in, go back in, go back in, go back in. <laughs> I think he's left. I don't think he's back here. But we can look at the console, which is interesting. That's kind of strange. Before we get up, let's talk to Ben. What would you have done with Lily? What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. I also feel like it didn't really make a lot of sense. I feel like she disagreed a lot with Kenny. I would have thought she would have shot Kenny point blank. Happy stayed with us the whole time. Was it you? Not this again. Was oh. it? No! Okay then. Sorry. Uh, happy you stayed ben with us Ben won't forget all this time. that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods, just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of people remembering a lot of things. Bad news bears. <sighs> there could be supplies. Somebody was staying here. Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. There's a map. Shit. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Yeah. This definitely looks recently used, but there is a map which could be really helpful. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route Savannah. Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. To the coast. We get on an island and we never leave until this is done. Oh, we did find water. I'll take this to catch up. For Doc. I don't know if I want to do the boxcar door yet. Oh, we can get out on the other side. I feel like I should give them the water and then come back. I know that's kind of a lot of work, but I just feel like it'll. Oh. Derailed. Looks like it'll get that pin out. Oh, we could do that. Um, I guess I came out on the other side and didn't even intend, I didn't mean to, but this will help. Shit. Broken. There's mm. gotta be a better way to do this. All right, we'll come back to that. I thought I was going out the other way and I definitely messed that one up. So it'll leave, I need to go back out this way. Oh, 
I do want to open that cart, but let's just give the water. Here, got some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. <laughs> well, I don't, but you're probably right. It doesn't. Let's just have a... Let's give the map to... Well, this is the yeah. boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks... Follow the tracks. Like the Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. All right, and then let's talk to Clem real quick. Hey, Sweet Pea. You okay out here? He's now calling her Sweet Pea. I don't think Doc feels good. Uh, me neither. She's so good at reading, like, situations and people. Uh, alright, well, I mean, I guess we can go through this way. It's the same boxcar, so... Give us another way to get out of here, but this is the same one that we did before. So this is... Okay, so this is that. So I couldn't use the... There's got to be another way. I need to go back over here and maybe talk to him about helping me. Or we need to do this one. It's a different boxcar. Hmm. Engine compartment. It's all just the engine compartment. Although, I don't trust there's not a driver in here. Shit. We got one. Ben, you can't. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. Doesn't it look like there's a bullet wound from the entrance? I don't think I actually want to shoot him. There's a bullet wound. But I think there's only one way to do it. I think I have to shoot him now. He did. Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah. I was like, what is it waiting for? <sighs> just crush his head. Like, step on it, just to be safe. Oh, I think he's fine. <laughs> I thought it was a bullet wound. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push no. It. Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell Maybe do we, we get throw the corpse out? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Nice. Well, look around. Good thinking, Ben. Maybe you'd go somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and Duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. I bet you Duck is gonna turn by the time Man, we're leaving this train. This could be exactly what we need. All right, so let's look there. There's a map in. A bunch of papers. And take the map in. Aww. Bunch of maps about Georgia cities. Nothing about the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions Engine. on starting the engine. But it's been Damn. ripped off. Pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Can we find a way to read the notepad? <laughs> we can see the indications. Ooh. No idea what to do with these. That's fair. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried He's to like, eat the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. Maybe you should come back and help me. All right, let's get into the engine room first. I don't trust it, though. <laughs> it's like 
I don't think I know what to do with those. I don't like that we're opening each of these. I don't trust it. Maybe I should look at them before opening. Look before opening. Might be something inside. Might be something inside. It's the middle one. It's the next one. Oh no, this could work. This could definitely work. Nothing. Hmm. But that's good to know that. I don't know how we'd get power to it. Oh. This will do. All right, so for pulling that thing, I'm not actually sure what to use. Can I take everything? Nope, I can't take everything. Uh, I mean, I... What is this? This is a spike remover? And this is a monkey wrench? I don't know, I'm gonna grab the monkey wrench. <laughs> That's the only one I recognize. <laughs> well, I recognize, I do recognize the, the normal, the spanner. But well, let's go monkey wrench this business. Can just jump across. That's kind of nice. To the back of the cart. Uh, this way. It's probably not this one. Oh, sorry. There's Hold on. Be a better way to do this. Uh, it's stuck. I can okay. definitely pry this thing free if I can break it loose first. Oh, so the other one. Gotta go by you. It was the other one, which was not the spanner. It's um, what was the other one? You know, it's kind of funny though because. I've never had to deal with any of these really before. I don't even think I've used a monkey wrench for anything. No, I definitely have used a monkey wrench. But now I feel like I'll never forget these now that I've found them in a... used them in a practical situation. It's got to be the spike, the spike remover. It's the only one I could think of. The spanner doesn't really make sense. Watch it be the spanner. Learning opportunity on the horizon. Do, 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 do. Meanwhile, duck is slowly turning. I just love the art design. It's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. So maybe it's something completely different? Oh. No. Maybe there's a whole nother weapon. Weapon. Tool. <laughs> Hear me out. There's no way. Maybe these tools aren't even for... Was there something else? The spanner. But if it's not this, then what would it be? It's like the smallest tool. <laughs> I'm gonna look up the definition of these and see like their purpose. I wanna know what their purposes are. I love how he walks fast. I guess slowly you could like, yes, more and more people are going to turn into zombies. But once you do kill them, they are down for good. So you just have to take out a massive population. It's none of these. Stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. So we need something completely different. I'm not even using the right tools. OK, that's good to know, because I'm over here trying every available option. So if we need something with a lot more force, what would it even be? Something with a lot more force. Sheet That's metal. A hell of a mess. Huh.
Maybe Ben knows? Maybe Ben has an idea. We found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. Really useful. That was great. That was awesome. All right, what would give us even more leverage? I have to do even more. I can't go around that way, so it's got to be something over here. Let me just double check by opening that engine compartment. I feel like inevitably, like, every single episode, there's always been one part that just has me taking a lot more time. A switch. Nothing. Um, because why not try to just <laughs> do the same thing all over again? The monkey wrench would have made the most sense to me. But maybe there was something in here that I missed? Hey, kid. What's up? You want to talk about Duck? We need something to help us get the train moving. God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys. We can figure it out. Uh, we need... You want to talk about Duck? I'm really sorry, Kitty. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. I'll get back. I to don't him. trust bringing up Lily to him. All right. So we have console. Got the notepad. So we have to. F oh, I didn't realize we could go down in the front. That makes a big difference, actually. There's got to be something we can use out here. Jesus! Do we bash its brain? Kids make like those. I thought those things were designed to save lives. I think we should try to... Hold on. It's pouring raining right now. This door's gonna hurt. Maybe I can take the animal crackers and not shoot him? No way. Alright, we gotta shoot him. Oh, my, wrench him. Can't get at him in there. <laughs> Alright, let's go around to the other side. Mm, I just don't want to shoot him because I feel like it's we'll come back. We'll him, come man. back. Alright, we're finally on this side. There might be something. I don't know. I feel like we need to just shoot him, y'all. Too late. Never mind. But I want those animal crackers. Cow catcher. It's in pretty good shape for a wreck. Maybe we have to go up this way. It just makes us go back this way. Alright, well there is a zombie, so... Maybe if I use the monkey wrench? Hey kid. What's up? There's a zombie on the other yep. side? Let's go grab the monkey wrench. It might be able to reach him. Maybe that's why they have these tools in the first place. It definitely looks long enough. Give him a good old schwack. Um, I think the main thing, we have to detach the cart and then we also need to figure out some kind of way to he said that he can kind of make out the the subtleties or the i guess like the impression from the piece of paper so we have to figure out that one too we talked to ben and he didn't provide any help what i think i can think of is talking to people has clementine said anything would you have left lily would you have left lily back there on the side of the road like that yes lee yeah I hope we, we did the right thing. Eyes. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? Actually... I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she <laughs> is. <laughs> Poor Carly. She is very quiet. God, where did yesterday go? I got I Carly killed. 
Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I'm used to it by now. I'm, I'm fine. fine. Don't worry about me. I do. Don't. I liked her, but she's gone now. I'm sorry, Lee. I know it's such a small thing, but I actually love how they change the color of the dialogue per person. I'm stuck. I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Is Ken all right? What is he doing? He's put his <laughs> mind to figuring out the train. And what this is why you, you keep Ken? Same thing. Sort of. I found some instructions, but I can't read them. Oh. Well, I'm sure someone can help you. All right, instructions, instructions. Let's check on Clem because no it has been a while. Train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? Oh, no, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? It used to be something. That's so on smart the to use the. I used to do that well, all the time. Well, if you don't end up using it, I take it. I like to put leaves between the pages and color over them. Like make a rubbing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's fun. She's so smart. Uh, all right, so she said maybe in the RV, which totally makes sense while we were able to get in here earlier and go up to the front. There must be a pencil or pen or something. Hmm. There's got to be something. Yes, there's a pencil. Such a small thing. I would have never saw that. Oh, God, Clem is awesome. All right, so let's figure out how to get this train working. Maybe that will be the way that we detach. It's got to be the way that we'll be able to detach the thing and then pry it open. Because that's what it said it needed. It said it was like some kind of mechanical thing that was going to cause it to detach. So that makes total sense. You strut it. Strut it. Stretch your stuff. To the piece of paper. Perfect. You can read it now? I don't yeah, think you're supposed to, to go that hard on it. But... On. Sounds good. All right, so 6599. Nine, nine. So six is two switches, sides, up, down, up. Down, down, side, side, up, down, up. And then five is horizontal, vertical. And then nine, you're flipping to the left. And then nine, you're flipping to the right. All right, let's see if I got that in one go. Uh, so we need six first. So it's down. Oops. Down. Down. Up. Up, I think. I think those were both ups. Down. Up, down. I know I can reference the paper, but I want to see if I can do this. And then five was horizontal vertical. No, no. That means I got six wrong. If it didn't let me change five, it means I gotta have six wrong. That's just weird. Alright, down, down, up, up. Maybe it was up, down, up. Up, down, up sounds more right. Yay. Son of a bitch. Let's Whatever go. Whatever you did, let the dash up. So far, so good. All right, and then five is horizontal vertical. Very now nice. Now we're talking. And then nine. That's eight. Is this nine? Where is nine? Eight, seven, five, four, three, six. Uh, nine, anybody? One, two, eight. Anybody see a nine line around? <laughs> Maybe Kenny has it? Or hold on. Hey, Ken. What's up? I'm start I'm working on starting this thing. I'll get back mm. to it. Me too. Maybe it was a nine. Maybe it was eight. Seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine. Alright, to the paper. No, it was nine. Nine to the left and nine to the right. Crisscross. Everybody clap your hands. 
Well, you can't even flip those. Eight. Doesn't even matter. Is nine? <laughs> I'm crazy. I mean, I think that's it. I don't know. We did six, we did five, and then nine is to the left and then to the right. Hey, uh, Ken, am I crazy here? Maybe we have to start up the engine first? Like, go to this one? Oh, yeah, me yeah, yeah, this is nine. Okay, so left to then right? Yeah, left, right. Crisscross. Crisscross. And then to the right. Awesome. Now, how do we Holy shit. break the other We're card golden. off from it? We're golden. Yes, we are. Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Yeah. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Just hoping that we're in the right direction. Well, hold on. We need to break the thing free. There might be something in the front. It's all yours. All right, so. Throttle, 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 throttle. I mean, I guess that's the. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. But that might have been enough. Can you go find out where we're stuck. Get us unstuck. unstuck. Yeah. Maybe that was enough, though, to at least cause a little bit of... Oh, to break free the rust. I think that's what he said, was we just had to break free the rust. So let's grab the monkey wrench. I do think... I think I'm holding it right now. No. No, I'm not. Let's do the monkey wrench. I don't know. I feel like any of them really could work. No, I did not pick up that one. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's do monkey wrench. I think that'll be a tighter grip on it. And let's get going. Yee. No, no, bad. <laughs> All right. I can't believe that didn't make a sh like a crap ton of noise. Also, we should try to get the animal crackers if possible. Maybe we can grab them after we're all on it, so we don't care if there's loud noise. It probably didn't matter which tool you picked, honestly. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. Let's go, let's go. All right, and then we're back up in here. You touch any of my stuff? Who is this, and how did he sneak up in here? I took the map of the train routes. I took the map of the train routes. That's fine, you can have that. Really? Yeah, I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles. Chuck? Fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him Chuck. too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. <laughs> You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will He do seems that. like a nice old guy. I already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. Did I miss the part where everybody talked to him? You met Chuck. Yeah. He's got a guitar. Of course he's trustworthy. Someone normal for a change. He gave us candy. Ben too. Pineapple flavor. <laughs> you have candy? You have candy. Boy, I got the last piece I got on me. Figures. The old man giving kids candy. Nothing crazy about Is that. that? Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. Hey. 
He's sick. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. He's got crazy eyes. Well, I don't trust it. A little it. TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. But he does say fit as a fiddle. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. You can't fight a wanderer with a guitar. It's just too perfect. All right. So that's it. I probably We're should have taken the opportunity to talk to Seems him a little that more. Way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. How do we go from tearing apart anybody we see? Like All Kenny right. was so or well, maybe that was it Lily. Like you're taking my home. That's a yes then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. It's actually a good strategy. Duck sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Oh, jeez. That was aggressive. Getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Is the train really a good idea? Is the train really a good idea with duck like that? Maybe we should focus on one thing at a time. Yes. What can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. He's so I testy. Think just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. We definitely need to keep her because she has those healing skills. The vet skills. Uh, I guess it won't allow us to actually go outside. So we missed out on the animal crackers. I just don't know what the best move would have been with that because I think we could have shot him. Maybe after we got the train working. He's worried about his boy. And I'd be worried about having a perfect stranger back there. With Clem, I'm kind of surprised that Lee is okay with leaving Clem back with somebody we just met. Especially a stranger that gives out candy. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. Oh! We'll be fine. There were more of us. We'll be fine. We've gone through just as much as anybody else. This one's gonna grow up quick. I already am. I don't <laughs> doubt it. Please. I'm an adult. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Oh no. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? Yeah, sure. He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Oh. Uh, this is so hard. Let's check on Clem, or we can check on other people too real quick, but... Yeah, let's check on Ben real quick. I'm stopping the train. Stay put. Okay. I'm not a kid! I feel okay, like... This train stopped right quick. It'd be harder to have a teenager with you than a kiddo with you. I'm gonna go get Kenny. The mood Hold swings. tight in case the train stops fast. Alright. That'd be so fun. You need to stop the train. Could just toss him out the side door. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Kenny, what? Ken, what the hell's that? Nothing you seem to care about. The beginning of a walker. Your son's blood. Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. It's not tuberculosis. He won't be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. She's the what one that has the more experience. Deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. This isn't about Duck. This isn't about Duck. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend. I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. How many sons are you going to let die? You could have saved Sean or Ducky. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? Stop thinking about yourself. You didn't kill Herschel's son. You need to get over it. You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. And a bad thing happened to someone else's. And they're probably there all dead no anyway. This world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Feels so bad Stop for the him. train, man. You talked Kenny into stopping the train. He has so much guilt on him. Okay, I feel like that was a good thing. 70. This is going to be so hard. Like, how do you do Damn, it, too? I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. I didn't want this for Kenny. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if, what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just I couldn't even imagine. Sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can. I don't think... I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. Kenny, you're his dad. You do it. And I'm his mother. Lee's right. And don't give me that I brought him into this world joke. Shush. He's still a baby boy. It would be different if he were older. Let me do this. Then I'm coming with you. No, honey. Stay with me. Your son loves you. And you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. This game is brutal. I doubt there was anything we could have done to not let him get bit. I can't. Lee, be with him. And what is Clem gonna say? I don't even know what words to say. What's happening? 
This is the worst episode. <laughs> Duck is dying. Duck is dying. I know. What is Katya doing? She's making sure he's okay. <laughs> She's making sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. She's making sure he doesn't come back. Clem will remember your honesty. Look, Clem, things are... No, God! People die. It had to be done. Okay. There was no other choice. Okay. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben, get what if there's walkers? The train, all right? And keep your eyes open. Yeah, we stopped the the noise alone from the gunshot could have attracted more zombies. Oh yes. my god, she couldn't gotcha. do it. The boy. Why? Cat. Sid. Oh, oh fucking god. <laughs> this episode. Shouldn't have let her come out here by herself. I'm so sorry. She could. She, 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 oh, 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 fuck. No, we have to deal with Duck. We have to deal with Duck. Oh. He doesn't even recognize it. I think, I don't know what he... It's like he has no brain left. I think she was going to do it either way because I tried to be, let Kenny be the one to do it. What do we do? We have to shoot him. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. <laughs> this episode. I have no other choice. Jeez. I didn't want to make Kenny do it. Maybe I should have done it from the start. Maybe I should have been the one to take him out back. Maybe it would have saved Takati's life. shot through the head and I'm to blame this has been a brutal episode I don't like it oh Clem yeah oh, god I feel like yeah could you actually sit on front of the train moving like this I feel like I would get smacked by so many bugs Understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think it'll happen? What Chuck say? What Chuck say? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did. Swear. Son, uh -oh. I hope. Mean, took some sense into him. Don't be mad. Hey. 
How you do? Nobody talks to my daughter like that. Say what you said to me, asshole. Why did you say that? I don't care what reason you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Cause she is. Smash his guitar. About you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? And you have a plan? We do what's best for Clem. We'll figure, figure it, it out. out. Well, get to figuring, because it'll be on top of us before you know it. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Why? I like a gun? She's a little girl. I'm not a barber. I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled. Jesus. Why don't you, you just got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. That is fair. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. <laughs> he looks seeing another little girl die might just do me. He looks like the guy from MASH with just what facial hair and haircut, gray hair. And a gun. It's good advice. <laughs> I shot the kid, you know. Where were you headed? Where are you headed? Uh that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. I got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. Mm, I feel like if he's any good at shooting, he could be. You have any useful. family? Out there somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past oh, 14 years now. Uh, Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then. I, kid, I, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. I don't want to try to insult him. I feel like we don't here. have to say you he's betcha. homeless. We found him. <laughs> we found him all a mess in a train car. Let's check on Kenny. Let's look at the map Mind too. If I get by for a second, Kenny. Can you just leave me alone? Okay. We'll try again later. Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. Are there any maps in here? You still want to get a boat? Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. That could make a big difference down the road, I'm sure. Leave me alone. Don't mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Okay. Okay. Hey. Yeah. We'll try again. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Can. Yeah. It's the best plan. I mean, that's fair. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Aww. But like that map. I feel like I'm going to be insistent, even though. Get out of here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll try again whenever we get somewhere else. Or maybe there's another map elsewhere. He clearly does not want to be disturbed. Hey, Ben. Hey. Carly didn't have to die. It's your fault. Aren't many no, of I'm us kidding. left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. <laughs> We're all homeless. I don't think we can count on Kenny. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. I, I don't really want to yeah. talk about Carly with him because I've already pissed him off before. And I definitely don't want to do that again. I feel like this bottle set the blood. I hope 
we're not on this train much longer. Mm. Is that wine? Whiskey? Looks like Chuck has some booze left. Do a little. It is whiskey. It's a fifth of whiskey. Don't mind if I do. There might be a map in here. There's some scissors in Chuck's bag. Yoink. Oh, for her. Yeah, for her hair. All right. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't gonna worry, cut your hair. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I like that. Aww. What a crappy day. We're gonna get straight to the you point. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's she'll be scary. so smart. I think she'll Teddy. be great with it. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? A lot. <laughs> Squeeze the trigger steadily. Take a deep breath. Hold it and fire. Aim for the head. I know these are just bottles. But you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah. I'm Wait, ready. I took the bottle, didn't I? Oh. Okay, I was like, not the whiskey! We're just gonna do shooting Good. practice inside of this card. Out. Okay. Okay. Let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's Crap. stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yes. Yeah, you do. Aim left, aim right. Keep it steady. Now keep it steady. I think she needs to aim left. Aim higher. Okay, a little higher. Oh, okay, we're going lower and left. Aim to the aim, left. Aim a little bit more to the left. And then a little bit lower. Aim lower. I forgot. I got it. Let's Excellent. go. Good shot. I forgot where it was the first time she shot it. Another one. Except we're wasting all of our precious bullets. All right, we're going right and then right. down. A Aim lower. Low. There you go. Nice. She's got it. All right. She's got this. No practice required. Yeah. I did it. Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. She'll become Carly in no time, but not dead. Okay. Not dead. <laughs> I feel good. With her gun. So scary, huh? Nuh -uh. Danny Bros? No, he didn't show her the safety or anything, which is a little concerning. <laughs> All right, we definitely need to cut her hair as well. Let's look at his camp one more time. He's lived here a while. All right, we need to cut her hair. Hey, Clint. Clemmy. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no, what happened? Nothing, we have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Oh. Are you saying it smells? Yeah. No. <laughs> because it does, kinda. No. <laughs> yeah, I guess she hasn't washed it in forever. Now? And I got mad. Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, 
We need to trim it. Just a trim, right? Just I need a to cut trim. it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. But I loved her little. I don't know. I loved her poof. The problem is, is that I know she's not gonna like it, but it'll be the safe thing. But if I wait, they can probably give her a more stylish cut when we get to Savannah. And if we do this now, I guess not. Or maybe no, we no. wait until. It's a good thing. I should have waited because we're on a moving train. I feel like it's gonna stop suddenly and I'm gonna accidentally cut her. I don't like this. Do oh no, I don't like this. Do this. How hard can it be? Nope, no idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know. I'm going to look like a boy. <laughs> but think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. <laughs> I wonder so why we couldn't just put in a ponytail. Yeah. I guess the ponytail you would be even easier me. to grab. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Oh, I liked her with her poof. You're right. Killing is bad no matter killing what. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself, and to protect me. It doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, mm. I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You hair do? thingies? Uh, yeah, Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Aww. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, She's adorable. And it will look great with your hat, too. She looks cute no matter what. She's so adorable. Her hair is a lot safer now, which will definitely help later on. Let's see if there's anything Sorry else we can talk to her about. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. <laughs> what do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about I don't know if I trust him completely. But I'll accept him. I'm gonna I look need to around. look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to be all negative and saying that oh man like it's been a crappy day I definitely want to stay positive around her and straightforward because she really does trust honesty Ben you're a mess get it together <laughs> we need to grab that map again I'm not really tr let me try again what's your problem okay nope so, looking around for other things, I think we can give him the whiskey. And we can tell him that we cut her hair. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be, before too long. Be safe up here. You Let's betcha. give him the whiskey. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. <laughs> want a nip? <laughs> eh. Sure. Although they might smell the alcohol on me. A sure. little nip won't hurt. Oh, you shared a drink with Chuck. That might not be a good thing. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kid. Mm, that might not have been a good thing. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Ooh. That feels like it wasn't the good move. All right, is there anything else? I need this map. Give me the map. <laughs> Are there any maps in here? Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, just earned it to me. One with Clem, so she has a lay of the land. Once we get to Savannah, I see it. I want it. It's full of maps and documents. Oh, I'll be able to grab it if I give him. If I tell him to go grab a schwig. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Just like a little, yeah. little taste. 
Yeah, that'd help. And now I can grab the map, which was really smart. Now he won't get pissed off at me anymore. Uh, <laughs> we'll go back to Clem. Although there, thanks. Oh, okay. He just comes back in really quickly. I was like, I don't know if I want to leave this unoccupied. Maybe he wants a little schwig hey, too. Hey. See. <laughs> Ben, yeah. it's okay that we're in an apocalypse. We're still not gonna let underage kids drink. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? He got Carly it's killed. It's all my fault. Ben Say noticed. something, please. I deserve everything. Everything I got coming to me. Oh, fuck. What do I do? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. He should have talked to somebody. Should have known. He did know where the chalk was. Oh, let's see you if still there's something talk we to can me? say. Not much choice. Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. He can still turn around. Let's drop it for now, okay? What, what are you doing, doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I wouldn't tell Kenny. I guess not. Yeah. I'm serious about keeping your shit to yourself. I'm dead serious about you keeping your yeah. mistakes to yourself. I can tell. Kenny would kill him in a Get heartbeat. Mine, right? I guess. You better. The mean mug. See. Yeah. I'm all for kicking Ben out. I've never had an attachment to him. I just feel like he's dead weight at this point. All right, let's go over the map with her. And then I think we're, I don't know how much longer this chapter is. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team mm. needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. Time to plan. We should go our own way. We need to help find a boat. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in oh, Savannah. Oh, I should have said that. Uh, no, look. No, I, I don't that. care about safety. I care about finding them. Where would we even look? We'll look for them, but then boat. Okay, we'll look for them. Really? Yeah. She's going to remember I that, I promise that. Sorry. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna want to look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. Mm -hmm. We've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. They were we'll at the hospital. We do Have know that's where they were at Once. when they got attacked. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and... Maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M M something. The Marquis? Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Nope. Yes, that's it. So we'll head there. Yes. The Marsh. You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Clem, um, come on. That's not. Sure, go ahead. Sure, go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And Me you're too. a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! Hold on to her! It's time to go.
I still don't trust him. That's fucking stupid, Ben. I mean, it's kind of the only saying. option. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Just blast that's through it. Explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo. You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. They happen to be there at the perfect timing. No, we're friendly. Could be, who are you? Could be. Who are you? Turn it around Two on them. Two people who have a strategic position on you. Come on, hon. Let's give these guys a break. We'll they see. have the high ground. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. I don't know. I just feel like every time I put my trust into other people, I keep getting stabbed in the back. I also want to give Kenny props because he is really holding up well for losing both his wife and his daughter. Or his son. It's up to that wreck tanker. I love how you can observe right, come things. Come up there. You better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Somebody else propped this ladder Google up against guys there. Is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when? Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? Krista. We're driving it. Oh man. We're not in the mood for new people. It's been a bad day. I mean, we could. I, I, our party's so small you anyway. Help us out. We could use some able bodies, and yeah, we we really need some help. What's in it? Oh shit! God damn, you guys have a kid. What are you doing up here? Do you Aww. know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great. <laughs> See. Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? How does he know that? And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? We've just been trying to get by. I found her. I was on my way to jail. One day one. I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Mm. We just met Chuck. Chuck. We just met Chuck, but he seems like an all right guy. You always have to worry about new people. I used to love meeting new people. Aww. That must have been a long time ago. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road, alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. Uh, we'll start there. We'll okay. Come down and we'll just in roll and it over. Help. Um. <laughs> All right. So let's observe it first. It's already starting to crack. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's a tear in it, right? There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. I didn't ask you to. Hmm. I also find it interesting that we weren't asking, like, wait, is that a body wrapped or covered? Or no, I think it's just metal. I just find it really weird that we're not like, hey, who are you guys? <laughs> or do you want to tell us what you were doing? Hmm. FRS, Federal Res Rescue Services. I can always try. Tape! Take the tape! Uh, 
That's about the only useful thing in here. I feel like we should travel with this doll. Empty. That's what I figured. Mm. Interesting. For not what I imagined them having in like a rescue truck. All right, so I can go downstairs. I can't talk to Clem. Let's see if we can talk to them more and get it. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? You yeah, never mind. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh me? What? Okay. <laughs> Do you think it wants me to talk to my friends? Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes. <laughs> like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? Mm, Y'all want some candy? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? He's so I'll empty. get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens? Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. All right, well, that excites me, but... Poor Ken. Like, I mean, I guess... I guess I got what I wanted, because I was just talking about that. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. It's so impressive. That'd be amazing to be able to play the guitar. Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. We need someone, anyone, to come along and, and exterminate them or something. Get used to them, it's easier. Get used to them. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. Well, their numbers keep going up. And ours... I'm telling you, Lee, if they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Punch your own ticket? Yeah. Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. <laughs> he wasn't and there. Don't let them get a hold of He wasn't there at the scene when the one girl, she was like begging for us to kill her, and we didn't, and then she took the gun and did it herself. Ben is a very interesting character. I just don't have like a good read on him. I feel like he's pretty, just like a, I don't think he's a filler character. Cause obviously like he was the one that was conspiring, not conspiring, but he was making the deal with the bandits. Like he has a purpose in some ways, but still a little confusing to me. Let me you check on Glenn. this woman for us. Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like. <laughs> and she knows how to use a gun now. Can All I right. follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah. All right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station. All right. Hustle over was. if you hear anything. Here's the thing. There is going to be a part where her having her hair cut or not definitely comes into play. Otherwise, they wouldn't have made that like a whole moment. It's got to be. Survivors inside, which probably means there's dead people inside now or walkers. Everton and Schultz. Find silver. Imports. I feel like it is important to look at these. Imports and then Ray. Is that Ray Brand? Ray Brand Auto Parts. Macon. Oh, that's from. But we're not still in Macon, are we? We're in the outskirts of Macon now. Hmm. The survivors. There's no way they wouldn't have seen. Or heard a uh, train. Wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Let's see. Oh, 
The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? I don't know if I like that idea, Clem. Hold on. <gasps> this is exactly what we so need. I think that thing's worked in years. Never mind. All right, we can't peep inside of the other windows because they're boarded up. I see if we can. There. Doesn't give me an option to use Clem to peep through, and I don't think I want to do that in the first place. I think we're going to have to break it down. Mm, won't but. Hmm. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into okay. that window up there? Sounds good. I don't like that idea. Uh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? Tell me. What do you see? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? How did she so. grab it from there? Oh, is it one of the like top ones? Well, I'll be damned. What? <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. I don't know if there's going to be really supplies in here. A bunch of random shipping stuff. I don't like that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Yeah, she needs to stay really close to me. Mm. I forgot we have the tape. I'm surprised that actually works. There's gotta be something useful in here. Hey, Clemmy. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. All right. I want to be really careful because I don't want to put her at risk. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah. We need to get in there and get that blowtorch. How do they have just a blow? Is that like a common item to just have in a they shipping store? They didn't have store? much business back then. But also, what would have happened to the survivors? What's through that door? Also, the crates look conveniently placed up against the employees only. Just saying. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Yeah, but we keep putting her in the way. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> She's so small. <laughs> I want to grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! What did I say? Up uh, behind the employees. Oh, God. Come on, Clem, you know how to use a gun. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I shouldn't have used the wrench. Oh, oh, that's on me. Damn it. All right, let's just run that back, run it back, run it back. <laughs> All right, what I need to do is go for the other one. Or I need to run to grab the wrench. Come on, scoop. She also needs to say something sooner. She waits for me to turn you. around. And then this one pushes us over, so we need to not go for them. We have to go for the wrench. In the split decision, go for wrench. Uh, push on the stick back. Uh, I needed to back up. It said push on the stick to back up, and I just was not. You have like three seconds to decide. <laughs> I think that's like five deaths for him Go so far. Keys, Come on. At least they make Scoot. him a non like he's got the plot armor. Behind you! Alright, so we gotta push the stick back. Push it back, push it back. Uh. Where did that one come from? Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Alright, we got it, we got it. Clem, I need you to put in the work, grab the gun. 
Okay, so maybe we don't use our weapon as a way to prop up the door. It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Aww. That's one step closer. <gasps> She's gotta do it. Oh my god. Keys, now! Oh my... Clem, you can do this. You can do this, you can do this. Fuck, it's still locked! Come on, Clem. Nice. Nice. God that would have been good that practice didn't go for her. So good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. The employees only section. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. Walkers. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Clem knows how to work again. <laughs> Mind your own business, we handled it. We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. What kind of question is that? Idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Me too. For her sake. As opposed to her being stuck up in a tree, like, I feel like everybody thinks it's so suspicious that, which I get it, I get it, like, you take somebody else's child, but I feel like they're just, need, like, all he needs to do is apply a little bit more context to the situation, tell him that he's trying to get her back to her parents, he's trying to do the right thing. Let me sure talk to her. Okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. Always the bad guy. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No. We learned everything is dangerous. You have to learn to pull the trigger. We learn not to be afraid. No, Clem. We learned that everything we will ever do is dangerous. We'll get better, smarter, and faster, okay? Okay. I gotta go hopeful with her. She'll remember that. Uh, was there anything else over here that I could have grabbed? I know that this is where she grabbed the keys, yeah. I kind of wanted to say that she needed to learn to pull the trigger, but not the right place. Although I need to stop being sensitive because it's an apocalypse. We should just find a target. Oh my god. <laughs> I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Ever since the farm, I can't trust anybody. I want to keep checking on people when I can. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Where are you from? She's a crack shot, no? <laughs> Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. <laughs> well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. Oh yeah, Lee does love history. You learned that Ahmed is interested in Southern history. What were you guys arguing about? Not sure how we'll get the tank down. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. None of your if business. If you gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. I respect it. Didn't appreciate you Careful. crying into her business. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? 
Look, I don't need a lecture. You aren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. And she will be able to. We were trying to get used to being on our own. Clementine and I. So you take her into a dark, boarded-up building to build character? Not exactly. I think it's a good idea, figuring stuff out for yourself, for what it's worth. But be smart about it, though, you know? Teach her to scan the area for things. You two should never be looking mm -hmm. in the same spot. That's a waste. Stay the hell out of places like that building over there. Especially if you don't have more than one way to get out. Damn, she's smart. And be more afraid of groups of living men than dead folk. That we know. Omid and I are still alive because we're two, not six or eight or ten. Huh. I don't believe in strength in numbers, and you shouldn't either. That's some interesting backstory. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. And he likes history. This is gonna be great. I shouldn't have pride in her business, though. I know I shouldn't have. Uh, maybe we can check on... No, it's not gonna let us check on Kenny. This, we already looked at him. It's not like we can really look at the train anymore. They were, when I was walking up, they were arguing about a group of men prior, I think. So something bad must have really happened. Alright, let's talk to him think first. this'll work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> fair point, fair point. Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off. <gasps> the dude. tape, the I, tape. I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. As it says flammable behind it. Alright, we have the tape for this. Hope there's holes. There we go. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Oh no, oh no. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. Um... I wonder if there's another... Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. Oh my the hell you are God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? <laughs> Shut up and start cutting. I guess I should have talked to him and been the one to do it myself. Oh my Ben, do you want to say anything? Guys there's okay, something there. coming. There's what? something coming. Thousands. We gotta go! I say we run them over with the train. Oh go God, backwards. God. I am! It's going! Pull me up! There we go. Kitty, go! We're gonna jump on top of it? Oh no. Oh, 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 Shit. oh! What nice. the hell do we do now? We can throw it. We can throw it at the fire. Or at the oil. Thank God this works. Holy crap! Gotta go by! <laughs> gotta go by! We gotta jump! What? No way! Come on, you got it. It's gonna hurt. Guys! Come on! Jump! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Nice. Come on, Ahmed. Come on. Ah! <gasps> oh no. Shit. Oh no, 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 no. His leg. Did I get him killed? Come on, go, go, go. Run! Oh, that is bad. Oh, that's so bad. Come on. Okay, he's the injured one. I can get her. I can no, get her too. Her, not me. Krista, no! Oh, no, no! Fuck! You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know? 
She's got it. Let's go. It's okay. He would not have been able to run up. He wouldn't have been able to run. <gasps> he would have been dead, for sure. That I'm always that guy. Yeah. Where did they even Look, come from? Okay. You speak for yourself. I like a spot. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Just put some tape on it. I mean... I wonder how they're all gathered like that and they were walking in the same direction. I know that we... Either they were like continuously following the train and then they finally caught up, but it couldn't have been that gunshot. That gunshot barely made any noise. We also should get a suppressor whenever we can. Hmm. Oh, is that Kenny? Oh no. I think did Duck draw that one? Next stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. It's gotten too bad. You'll never get over today. You'll be all right. Oh, not the right thing I'll to say, alive, not the right I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. Her parents? What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. Who is it is a better Somebody question, died. and how do they know that... Well, it sounds oh, like cause she's been speaking into it. Headed. She's been speaking oh, into it. Oh, fuck. Oh, I my... I don't know. <gasps> I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. I just got chills. Ah. <sighs> I think this is kind of what I've been talking about for a while. The part where what? that was such a weird ending for an episode. I'm used to there being so much drama right at the end. We're almost at the river. Peach you want to get on a boat? Kingsway. You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We need to focus on finding the boat right now, Claire. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Oh. Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you. That's so weird. I don't know. Huh. Okay. That's a little bit of a different ending and kind of set up i understand like we're getting close to i guess we have two more episodes left so we're gonna deal with like her parents and then probably getting onto a boat what i would imagine would be chapter five but that was a very like slowed down kind of i guess it is kind of on par with like we've lost two main characters i mean duck and uh his mom were definitely larger characters and they've been around for three seasons. So, and we also lost what's her name at the beginning. So it was kind of a somber episode to begin with. So I get why it was a little bit slower as an ending, but that, I don't know, the preview as well was very mysterious and I'm trying to figure out who this person is. And also I like how they painted it to the last thing of episode three, it sounds like he's kind of an evil person. Just the way, I guess it was the manner in which he was speaking, but I don't know. In the preview, it actually seems like he's trying to help them too, but I can't imagine he's trying to help them for anything other than personal gain or else he maybe knows Clementine too. So maybe he is just trying to get Clementine back, but 
wow, a lot of stuff happened that episode. We also traveled the furthest in that one as well. So it'll be interesting. We definitely have walkers on the horizon, obviously, but we've got walkers on the horizon. We're going to have more of that like um, arguing in between our individuals. And then I think we're still going to have to decide with Kenny to get the boat or not. And then we're also going to be dealing with whoever this mystery man is. So next episode is going to be really interesting. Um, all right. You and 60% again, that will actually no. this one actually had more kind of all over the place yeah so you and 60 percent of players did not shoot her uh the girl in the street i'm trying to remember okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. wow so wait, that's actually interesting to see because that means that i think i think that was like the street smart thing to do i don't know i just feel like if you don't collect all of that you don't have enough medicine and then i don't know then maybe if you don't have enough medicine, they might, I don't know how that would impact it later. I'm going to have to look back, but I was actually expecting more people to just put her out of her misery. So I guess me and 60% of people are just <laughs> either really bad people or smart people. So left behind, did it, you abandon Lily? You and 45% of players left her. Interesting. So uh, that's actually really interesting. I thought more people would leave her. I want to know what happens if you don't leave her and if it has a negative impact on your playthrough as well. But wow, okay. Mm, did you fight Kenny? You and 45% of players talked him down. I actually didn't think standoff was going to be one of those um, percentages. So you could have fought him, I guess. But we talked him down, which is good. Which is good. I think a lot of times, like... It still is giving me enough time to read through all the options. So I still am trying to go with my gut, but it's not always like that every time. Sometimes I feel like I'm trying to, like the left behind one. I don't want to leave Lily, but I thought it was what the game would want me to do. I don't know. I, you guys know I keep going back and forth between like what I think the game wants you to choose and my own personal actions. And I'm trying to stick with my own personal actions, but it's hard not to like get inside your brain and start thinking about the thoughts and the different paths it could take you. Uh, so you and 81% of players shot him. Did you shoot duck? This is kind of interesting. I think this is the largest difference that we've seen. All of them have been pretty close to 50. Um, but this is the largest one. And yeah, so a lot of people did shoot duck, um, which, yeah, I guess my thought with that was like shooting him was at that point, Kenny had already lost his wife and his, he was already going to lose his son. And at that point, Duck didn't really seem like he understood what was going on around him because I think he was in transition. So at that point, he seemed kind of brain dead already. So I didn't think it would make that big of a difference of his father shooting him versus me. And I think it was going to make it easier on Kenny later. So that's where my brain was at with that one. <laughs> um, and then lastly, a helping hand. Did you help him? Wait, you and 60% of players helped him. Okay, but I, I what I have to... I don't know, because he's in the next chapter. But I guess you're, I don't, but maybe that is still swayed by your, no, that would still be swayed, right? Because you could have saved Doug, I think. There, there's other characters you could have saved, and it would have just given you a different cutscene, I guess. Um, yeah, my thought with that, too, I kind of talked to you guys through it, but if I save him, she can run, and vice, like, if the, if the, thing was switched and I saved her he wouldn't have been able to catch up to the train there's no way and then she would have hated me for the rest of our lives so yeah oh that was still so good guys I hope y'all enjoyed this episode it was definitely a little bit slower paced and more somber lots of death I still will never recover from the death of um oh my gosh I can't even remember her name I'll get over her death uh whoever Lily killed. I don't know why I'm blinking right now. I'll never get over that stuff. But guys, I will see y'all in the next episode and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get straight started on the next one. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.